Today, I wanted to talk to you about the fat loss fast track. I am in week six now, and it has been enlightening to say the very, very least. here with Mauricio today. We are at the Wolf Trap Farm Park. It's a national park here near uh, Vienna. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. It's like 70s and lovely and it is a perfect day to be out and about. We had initially planned to take Molina downtown and do some national uh, Smithsonian outdoor kind of stuff but Alas, we lost her to a friend and she is over at a friend's house today having fun and playing. So we are childless for the afternoon. So Mauricio and I are having a kind of spontaneous date day and we decided to come over to this park, which we love to come to. I am sitting on the stage at the Filene Center and we're probably gonna get in trouble, but that's all right. We'll get down when they tell us to get down. The last two weeks, the last update, week four, I had had some amazing introspection with um, sugar cravings. One thing I did realize with around week three and a half, week four, somewhere around there, I realized that I did not like journaling in the way that Evie Elizabeth Benton had prescribed and the reason is is because I felt constricted by it it had hours and I had to journal a specific time so I got myself a little Erin Condren planner and it's just you know a regular journal with lines and I now carry this instead of that gigantic notebook and I actually feel much freer with this than I do with that notebook. The notebook was great in the beginning for guidance, but I really feel like I could move away from it. It has the cutest little pen holder. I bought these separate. They cost a couple of dollars. Like you can put a pen on it. So exciting. I know, I'm a dork. I like office supply products. Anyway, so as you can see, I've been obsessively writing and I put my food here and then I make my notes and Mauricio looks really bored on the other side of this camera. I don't think he's at all interested in the fat loss fast track. In week four, I mentioned that I was a little concerned that maybe we weren't gonna be covering my personal eating issues. Yeah, I should trust the process more and learn that, of course, week five and six were all about my eating issues. So in weeks five and six, I continued to cut my portion sizes, although I did notice by the end of weeks that, is this that boring to you? Uh-huh, no, no, it's, go ahead, honey. Oh my goodness, this is really... I'm gonna come over there and I'm gonna punch you hard. So anyway, weeks uh, five and six, my, like I said before Mauricio so rudely fell asleep on me. Week six, my portion sizes started to creep back up, so I need to scoot them back down. I did lose two and a half pounds in week five. Um, and I don't know how much weight I lost in week six because of course on Friday night we had sushi, I weigh in on Sunday, and whenever I eat soy sauce, I gain four pounds automatically. And I will find out later in the week how much weight I lost last week. I might not lose anything because I did lose two, two and a half pounds on week five, which is unheard of for me. Fat loss fast track up to this date. We're at the halfway point. Is it easy? No. Could it be easy? Absolutely but you get out of it what you put into it. I'm putting my full effort into it. I'm spending pretty much every waking moment obsessively thinking about food that is going into my mouth, trying to change my behavior, realizing that every single thing I eat impacts the outcome of this process. Kind of like with budgeting, you know, if I start spending $5 here and $5 there, it adds up over the long term. So, you know. I, I, it's a learning process and I've made a few mistakes, but on the whole, I'd give myself an A minus or an A for effort. I've done pretty well. 
So um, I will see you guys in two weeks to let you know how week six and eight were. But so far, highly recommending this. I'll see you in the next one. See ya! Okay, so my feet are exactly in the selfie spot and I have the right size feet too. Okay, selfie. Hey, if you could go down on stage and do a little dance for me, that'd be awesome. Thanks for watching. Make sure you click on the big laughing face to subscribe to my channel. And I'm putting two videos that you can click on to keep on watching next to me. So go ahead and keep on watching and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!